All right, hello everyone. Today I'm going to do a video on this right here, and this is basically the changes for Seer that have just basically came out in the game as of yesterday. Um, now I didn't make a video on it yesterday because I kind of wanted to like see how people reacted to the changes, see how things were, and make it you know wait until it's all settled. Um, but these changes overall have made Seer better um, than what it was previously. So, first of all, the passive was essentially nerfed to be 50 meters instead of 75 because, um, you know, you can see quite a lot of people in that range in 75 meters. Um, but obviously to balance that out in the yellow, you can see that um, the actual scans that you get off the passive, it happens way quicker. Uh, so you can actually kind of, um, you know, I think the main problem with Sia last, uh, you know, before the changes is um, it would ping that there's an enemy somewhere, and even if you straight away activate your tactical, nine times out of ten, I wouldn't actually hit the person. They would literally be having to like be standing still for you to hit them. Um, and so for it to be immediate, as soon as you know you aimed on sights and it you know appears, and it constantly you know appears um, as soon as it scans them, um, that means you're going to get more accurate scans. It's going to be make it so you actually scan them more accurately. Um, however, the range has been reduced to counteract that. As for the actual tactical, the two main things that were nerfed is the heal and revive cancel. They were were removed, obviously including the respawn beacon interaction interrupt. Um, didn't even know it, it um, cancelled that, but apparently it did as well. So uh, that's all being cancelled. You can't you can't do that anymore. Um, you can't heal cancel nothing like that. Um, and the range has been decreased, but you can fire it out faster, and it's significantly faster as well. Um, I've seen gameplay, and I've actually played a little bit of it myself, um, and you, you're you basically going to be guaranteed to hit someone with the scan. I believe it's even faster than what it was when it originally launched in Season, in season 10. Um, so, very fast ability now. Um now, the scan time was reduced to 2.5 seconds, so you don't actually get the scan for very long. You still get, you know, the full, um, you, you still get the full, like, things with the scan, so you get, like, the health and the shield, you still see all that, um, but it's only 2.5 seconds, um, and it's once again a full body highlight, rather than just being, a, like, a diamond and then the health. So you're actually able to see the person better now. Um, and all these changes, I personally say, are really good because it makes it so that when you use your ability, you know you're not using a nerfed version of an ability, which I feel is quite often what you see with a lot of abilities, abilities like Horizons Tactical. You can tell that's kind of like a nerfed, well, not really because of the, the, the recent change, but you can kind of tell sometimes with some abilities that are nerfed versions of it. And Sia's abilities, you can tell. Most of the time, you're not hitting, you know, people with your scans, things like that. So at least this, you're hitting people with the scans, but it has less effectiveness. And so I definitely think the first nerf that they did do this year, I think it was at the start of Season 16, I think it was. Um, that nerf seemed to me like it was basically like a band-aid fix. Um, and this is the proper rework, and there might need to be some further reworks, because I do feel like this is adding a different sort of problem with the next two points we're going to go over. Um, but still, pretty good overall changes. So, a bit of a less of a scan, as you can see here. It's less of a scan ability and more of a, um, like, kind of... Um, more of a, like, deterrent type of ability, as you can, t as you can see by the uh, slow for 2.5 seconds. You now get slowed again. They did remove this ages ago with um, a flash that happened on your screen. Um, but now they're adding it back, and the slow is 2.5 seconds. That's pretty significant. Um, so that's one of the very OP's, OP things people are saying. And the silence time um, of 10 seconds. Now, I'll get to that soon. I'll talk about the uh, the slow first. So the slow for 2.5 seconds, it's like a Maggie Ball slow. Except I think Maggie's Ball is about 4 seconds, I think it is. Same with Bangalore's ult. I think they're both 4 seconds, the slow time. So 2.5 seconds is still pretty significant just for a tactical that can go through walls. Um, so overall, I think that's going to have to get nerfed. Possibly to 1.5 or 1 second sl uh, slowness. And then obviously we have the silence. 
Now, if you guys don't know, Revenant has a silence, and they refer to it as a silence. Um, and that's because Revenant's getting a rework. Um, so, what I believe is happening, I haven't really ca uh, caught up with a lot of Revenant stuff, but I will be making a video soon about it all, so I'll make sure I get all the facts and everything. From what I know is the silence that Revenant has, he will not have anymore. He will basically be more of a movement-based legend that has some damaging abilities. Um, and so this silence thing is basically moved over to Seer as like the main thing for this ability. So that it's essentially it has some scanning capabilities for close range, um, but it's mainly like more of a, a detrimental impact this scan. Um, than like Bloodhounds for example. Bloodhounds is just like a tracking ability. You know, you just scan the area and you can see everyone inside of it. This one's more like a top, like as it says, a focus of attention. You target one person and you damage that, well don't damage them, but you, you, you know, you have an impact on that person so you can focus them and then try and kill them. And it actually makes a lot more sense now. Um, however, 10 seconds for a silence of your abilities, quite significant. Um, I would say that needs to be about the 8 seconds maybe six seconds somewhere around that range i think 10 seconds is way too much for that um so see how it works but i think it's still really op uh, so enemies who are silenced by cr are now also highlighted with a threat outline to see her and his teammates but only when they have line of sight so a nice little way to compare this kind of ability with another ability is vantage so another character in the scan class her ultimate, uh, you get it every 40 seconds, and when you uh, you know hit someone with your sniper, you obviously do 50 damage. So that's the big thing with her sniper. However, you also scan the person for, I think it's about 8 seconds, I think it is. Um, but you can only see them if you're in line of sight. So it only shows the scan if you're in line of sight. So, in a way, Sia has kind of got that same treatment, except it's only close range that you can see them, and you have to have line of sight. Um... As well, it doesn't last as it, it lasts. Well, hold on, it lasts longer, but you don't damage them. You only slow them. Um, so the, it's got like kind of parts of what Vantage has, but I think Vantage's sniper, which is her ultimate, is still significantly better because you can also kill the people. Um, the scan you need to scan them to use as an ability to then kill them. And lastly, we have the ultimate, so the uh, range has been reduced essentially, so you can throw it 15 meters rather than it being 50. Um, so it basically allows you to not third party as much, which is pretty nice. Um, remove the diamond scan markers on enemy movement, and instead how it will work, instead of whenever someone runs around, it, it reveals them with a diamond, it'll only reveal the footsteps. And when they shoot uh, for about a second and a bit, and then it will actually put the diamond on where they're shooting from. Uh, so basically, that's how it's going to work now. It makes a lot more sense as well because the gun, obviously, you know, that's where the diamond comes from. Um, it comes from the weapon. So for I don't know why this wasn't actually added ages ago because it makes more sense this way. And all these changes make a lot more sense. It's just they need to tweak certain values here and there. And I think overall, this is going to make for a lot of an easier experience playing Seer and versing Seer as well. He's not going to be as OP of a legend, but also um, he's going to be like f as in more fun to play as well. Um, so overall, I think these are really good changes. I want to know what you we got. I want to know what you guys think about all these changes as well. I definitely do think they need to change um, how long uh, enemies are slowed and how long the silence as well. I think that's way too long, but everything else is really good. The fact that people can't really dodge it that much. Um, I'd say it's pretty good. I mean, maybe maybe not as fast as well. Maybe the firing speed as well being 30% faster. Maybe it should have been like 20% faster instead. Because I've, I've heard some complaints that people can't really dodge it. And, you know, when you have these additional things like the silence and the slow and everything, maybe that might create some problems in competitive. Um, so we'll see how it goes. And then we might have more of an idea of how these changes will basically impact the game. But uh, yeah, I wonder what you guys think about these changes. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next video. Bye for now.